fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745 with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with, almost said Black Ice, nope, with Man the Guns DLC. We are checking out the standard base game to see how it works. And, um, say this, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. But also, either when you're ready to either like or don't or dislike the video it's fine but if you dislike the video I'd love for you to tell me why you didn't like it um, for any reason I just I understand not everyone's gonna like everything and that's cool but it really helps me to know why you didn't like it you're attacking here just simply to slow them up while these guys try to get into here to occupy that way together and to hopefully do it successfully that way. Okay. You guys go from here. We get this. Yeah, there. Up to Alexandria. Go by boat. We are super. Thank you, Tippet. I do appreciate that. Because even I just could get four or five notifications that, hey, people pay attention to what I have to say about their their game purchasing possibilities. Um, more likely to... The thing I'd like to get from them is early access to some of their games. And it's sort of tricky right now with Hearts of Iron because I do have early access. Um, but I'm not allowed to talk about that early access. Even when other people are talking about their version of early access i can't talk about it until it's released so but i would like to get to um get early access to whether it's particularly rome or um imperator uh, imperator rome or rome imperator or whatever you know what i mean their new their new game coming out because early access can mean more views But it also helps you out in that they'll hopefully make. I'm going to even move these guys now. I was I I was sure I was going to take these guys in Morocco by now. Let me come up to here to hold on on rails. But it gets them to know what kind of games you want to um, play and watch. As we can see, had I thrown in a couple three divisions, it wasn't going to save these guys. Okay, well, those are there. Where did my British airplanes that I sent to? Um, here are they? No. I went to there last time. Or here, maybe. Eastern Mediterranean. No, those aren't them. Um... Where did they go? Keep losing that group. Um, another channel I mod got early access to upcoming Battlestar Galactica update. Yes, um, I got that as you saw Friday, um, and I'm quite honestly, I don't think I'm planning on showing it much on the channel. I'm I I played it a little bit. That was from yesterday's live stream i think after you i'm pretty sure after you left jp um but i think i'll be streaming it for um slytherine um there no that's not us polish air it was a group of fighters where did they go i'm still missing my fighters that were in greece but here here where where are you based where are you? Well, 
Or are you in here? No? Here, where? Okay. Greece. Oh, you're still up here. Okay, no, so, oh, man, I thought they had, had left Greece. Oh, man, just spent a lot of time looking at it. So I'm, like I was saying, on the Battlestar Galactica um, deadlock, um, the new Sins and Sacrifice um, DLC. Um, I'll, I, they sent it to me Friday, want me to, to, to learn it, and I may end up streaming it for them. Um, so and I'll, I'll, of course, announce. Um, where and when, um, if that really starts happening. Oh, good. We've got reinforcements up here. No, it's not a short survey. Okay, well now, are you here now? Because I see the airbase has been finally taken. Okay. Um, Okay, good. You're up here. Still sort of flying over there. Very good. I just want to give cover to them. Okay, fortify East Asia. National focus. And that's where we're looking at now. Okay. Hong Kong. Yeah, I think that's a waste. Landward fortifications. Yeah, it's, it's not going to get us where we want to go. Burma Road. Um... Some military factories. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Um. Don't, um see. Xinjiang, Xiang, is this? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes, I am. I thought I got enough fuel coming in. Ah, uh, well, not all coming here. Um, okay, base gain that fuel capacity. Okay, that hopefully will be enough. Um, okay, Burma Road, Mandalay, and Zikang. XI King here. Okay, so they get a factory there. Okay, we'll do that. We'll help out China now while we can. Still, since it hasn't fallen yet. Now, I have noticed this, and this is sort of doing pretty good, that Japan is making progress, is doing reasonably well, but it hasn't just overrun it. And I, they, they spend time trying to play balance it for uh, that. You have the link to the um, uh, yeah, Slytherin's channel. Actually, yeah, JP, I'm now a um, I now stream on Slytherin's channel um, basically on Thursdays. I am now one of their official streamers on Slytherin's channel um, for a Slytherin ma um, Matrix game. So I am now no longer just a guest streamer there. I'm one of that. So Thursdays, and currently I'm doing um, strategic command for that. Mm, something like that, tip it. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm, work, I'm doing that for them. And don't know what we're going to end up doing with it. We were just talking actually about it Thursday, Friday, um, about um, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. 
So we'll see what works out with that this coming week. And is one person needed to talk to another person over there to figure out what to do, and I don't know. Beyond that, I don't know. But there's definite interest in that. Okay, so we're going to do this here. Don't know if we're going to sanction Japan, because I don't know if we want to push that war. Then we're going to do this um, uh, Singapore strategy here to try to get that down. Keep keep India or keep China alive as possible. Defend India. Defend Malaya Peninsula more so than out in Borneo. I mean, sure, if we hold it, that's fine. But I'm not going to struggle for that one. Let's get back over to here. Okay, stop your attacks. We're not getting anywhere. We're waiting for our motorized divisions to show up there. We're waiting for, okay, and they're here now. Um, what does this division look like? No, I don't want, I keep hitting the wrong. I want to hit there to see what, okay, that's all right. Um, we're going to take that division up there. Okay, we'll send that to there to help hold. And let's send this over to here to Cyprus. Okay, we now host Greece as an ex as a government in exile. Current legitimacy is twenty nine. Um, one division managed to escape. And again, like I was talking about yesterday on this, the idea of a division escaping from well Poland intact. No, they did reform enough troops. Uh, did get out as you know men without uniforms get to France to reform two whole divisions. So the idea of Equipment coming out, you know, of Poland to, to Britain or to France. And the reason they're going to Britain is because we are head of our faction. They go to the country's head of faction. So if, say, if the U.S. joins the um, allies and it becomes head of faction, then these will start appearing in the U.S. or whatever. So um, the idea that, you know, the improved artillery would have, or something like that, would have made it out of Poland to France or to um Britain is unrealistic, but it is not unrealistic for, say, um, Greek equipment. Because there, if we if we count um, uh, Crete as a oh um, yeah, well, you guys need to reoccupy this here um, as a um, uh, somewhat evacuation. There was a lot of Greek equipment, um, not so much ammunition, but a lot of Greek equipment that did make it out of Greece, at least to the Cyprus, or you know, to the Crete. <laughs> Boy. Crete, um, Crete evacuation. So this is realistic in that sense, and this equipment is realistic in that sense. So we have the mechanic. Some some places it fits better than others, and I'm willing to live with that to have a reasonably good mechanic. And we want to secure this as. Now, why did Greece or Crete go? Italian and these islands didn't and we were occupying these Okay, now come back and hold the port Okay, two submarines down and we can see here, um, Greek exile leader. Okay, we've laid 523 mines, um, damaged zero ships, and sunk two ships. So, just to get so far, these have sunk two 
trip. So they've been somewhat um, successful. Um, where's our mine thing for here? Because we're no longer operating here, we no longer have a little doohickey like this to to. No ships sunk there. They probably haven't been. Oh wait, yo guys, you can't you get out of here? Um, come up to here. Thought I sent you somewhere else. Okay. Well, hey, just no ley mines. Let's see. Okay, well, then maybe that none sunk. Okay. Um. What is it? Um. There we go. Yeah. You don't do that anymore. Um. Down here. Let's see. I, cause I'm just experimenting to see how many. Okay, no, no ships sunk with these mines. We have sunk ships, I know there. Okay, we've laid sunk. Our enemies have laid zero mines damage, zero and sunk zero ships. So we've not lost anything to, to mines. We have ongoing combats. We have two results. Okay, one other result. Okay, so we've you know sunk a couple of tran Italian transports here. In the Mediterranean. Take your big fleet off. Thank you. Thank you. That's probably a smart thing to do. Because um, we have two couple of big fleets. This one, um, where is it? Here, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Um, this fleet, select. Okay, we are going to go, because we no longer have enemies here, we're going to go to strike force. So that should go back to port. And do that now. I don't know if I want to take them off of here or no. They are oh well. Okay, these guys here. Let's put you out. Um, convoy raiding here. Uh, well, this is where our big fleet is. We've been going after these um, submarines we were taking some losses I think we're gonna move you to convoy rating itself let's see if we can kill some convoys with our big fleet here big fleet yeah it's gonna use fuel but I'm willing to pay for that because I want to hurt them while we can with that type of warfare Okay, guys, um, no, we're going to have you come to here. start driving, get reorganized as you drive. And yes, um, we need a lot of things, but I want to, oh, oh, we have a lot of air experience. So, well, let's first, um, increase our range, increase our engine speed, increase bombing efficiency, Reliability and more range. That looks good. So we're now going to have strategic bombers, Mark 1s. We're going to put those into production to start that getting going because we want to bomb Germany with those. Yeah, we're taking out some of their convoys. Okay, Polish exile leader offers his services. So far we haven't seen a major naval invasion. At least that I could tell in an area where we have naval supremacy. Now Things have changed. You can now do a naval invasion in a, into a zone that you don't have. For those of you who um, uh, who played the old version, you have to have naval supremacy to say invade Cyprus. Now you don't. But if you were to send escorts or send convoys without escorts, they'll probably get sunk. If you send a convoy with an escort. 
depending on the strength of the escort and depending on the strength of the opposition at that moment, you may or may not get through with or without certain levels of damage. So I'm sort of waiting and watching to see how this goes. To see if we get invasions. Okay. Motorized divisions. Now, motorized divisions. Let's, because we have some more army experience. We don't have nearly as much as we do along here. This is what I want. Okay. We know we're really low on artillery and we need more. So we're not going to add more artillery, but what about anti-tanks? Do we have some tank units there? Okay. Um, additional toad, we have plenty available. Okay, so we will... Or do we want to... Nah, let's... We do a signals company there. And that there. Okay, tip it. Have a good night. See you hopefully next weekend, if not before sometime. But you'll probably be asleep when I'm doing some of the other streaming. There we go. Okay, we can afford that in manpower and in um, units. And we still have not seen, I don't think, though we wouldn't necessarily get the alert of a German invasion up here. As you can see, you could almost walk across this, of course, if you could walk on mines and not have them explode. Um, okay, well, we just sunk seven transports. That's good. Good thing we're putting a fleet out there because I want to sink their transports. Thought I sent two divisions over here. Did they die or just not get there? I don't know. And now more military factories coming online. Okay, well, we got two there, but we need artillery badly. Okay, and how are we doing for base gain? 45 for our consumption we will fill our capacity in four months okay now, when are you going to get your anti-tank guns okay you've already got them good we're going to face some tanks. Well, actually, no, because I see they're mostly losing organization because they don't have enough supply. So we're going to push here. We're overtaxing the supply limit. Oh, well, we took out Vichy Light Cruiser, two Vichy um, destroyers, and a German transport there. I think that was the right move, sending that fleet over on anti-convoy, because there goes transport convoy, whatever you want to call them. Lost some swordfish. Well, okay. Oh, lost it as three destroyers. Um, I don't know that we can. Um, no. I know we can do it in our, um, uh, 
puppet regions. Here we can um, build some But, um, uh, well, let's cancel that. Yeah. Well, well, let's see. Can we? Yeah, no, we can't. Not in allied zones. And that's one of my sort of pet peeves with this. Um, building stuff in your allied lands and BIs. Okay. Hey, Django. Good to see you. Um, well, that's good to know you can do it in black ice. Because I know you can do it in your, you know, puppets and colonies and dominions and whatnot but because i really would like to be able to say oh build a you know um radar station here or something especially if i'm playing as the u.s <coughs> He's pilot promoted. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what we're going to do here is let's take, get rid of probably just two divisions. Come up here because this is in one state and this is in a different state, so that will help the supply. situation there. Well, you've done this again. Let's see if we can... And now more factories are available. Hey, thank you. Okay. Um, so I think it's for that. Um, hmm. What's our current artillery situation? How bad is it? Okay, we're producing more than we currently needing, but we haven't caught up to our needs yet. So, yeah, more. Oh good, okay, you guys have made it there, very good. You support that attack. If you were to attack there. Should have medium tanks in all of these divisions right now. Yeah, good. As well as light tanks too, but okay, that German unit is snuffed out. So you're going to come there. What have we been doing out there? Well, nothing effective. Nothing effective, but messing with them a bit. Now here. Ooh, one down. One down. Three down. And one down. Okay. Looks like we got a submarine there. Well, very good. See, they're overdoing Bishi. Bishi wouldn't have fought like this. 
we do know the Vichy did attack Gibraltar. We do know that they were doing some of that type of stuff, but... This is just a bit much, I think. Okay, what we need to also do is shift their air operations from North Africa to, to here. Too far? Too far? It's just what you're telling me. It's too far. Too far for... Okay, well, um, let's see if we can do it from Gibraltar. See him flying to Gibraltar. One division of exiled Greeks forms in Greater London area. Very good. Now, can you do it here? Yes. Okay. Hello, great Jamie. Good to see you. You're way over the supply. Yeah, you're right, Django. I am. Um, now, that's sort of because we got these guys down in this state. And these guys up here are trying to move into there. So I'm trying to keep from being too far over the limit. I know I'm over the limit. But I'm trying to balance that to some degree. I probably should move one of these tanks up to there. It just sort of depends on which province we're, we're looking at. Okay, decryption. Okay, King Carol II abdicates in Romania. Very nice. Not that it affects us terribly much. Well, I'm going to wait for 1941 to increase our production in all of these. Well, I think this is a good time to end the episode here. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and, of course, I really love hearing from you, so please post your questions, comments, suggestions. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.